Single payer health care coming to you, courtesy of the Republicans, next. This is Right Makes Might with Dr. Duke. Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Duke, and this is Right Makes Might. Well, let's cut to the chase with health care. You're going to hear a lot of this over the next few months. We've been listening to it for years now. Republicans outraged about Obamacare, outraged about a federal takeover of health care, outraged about socialized medicine, promising while they were in the minority, even the tiniest of minorities, when they controlled the House and the Senate, protesting bravely that give us a chance and we'll repeal this. Well, now you know it is utter garbage. The Republicans aren't going to do anything except tweak around the edges of Obamacare. And what that means for you and me, bottom line is, is that socialized medicine is here to stay and it's only a matter of time. It could be a few years to maybe within a decade, you will have single payer health care. Uh, that's where we're moving with this. Uh, the Republicans are on board with it. The fact that uh, they now have they control almost every aspect of government and they're wrangling around the edges, uh, tweaking this and tweaking that they never intended to spare you from what's coming. Uh, single payer is going to be the future. And so let's just pause for a moment uh, and put the politics aside and consider what, ha- what that means for us. It means exactly what's happening to little Charlie Gard. Charlie Gard is a 10-month-old English baby who has a degenerative disease. He has brain damage. He is effectively going to die. He's terminally ill. His family, uh, through the wonderful miracle of of the Internet and human compassion, has raised over 1.6 million American dollars to fly Charlie to America for an experimental treatment that probably won't save his life. But that experimental treatment does have the possibility of trying to remediate some of his problems, and maybe even if it doesn't save his life, it will allow this experimental procedure to get more experience uh, so that maybe a baby down the road can be helped. But of course, uh, single-payer health care and the national trust, the national health care system in England and across Europe refuses to let the hospital release that baby so mom and dad can carry it to this country for an er experimental procedure, even though it will cost the British taxpayers nothing, even though the whole thing has been paid for and funded, even though American doctors and American research is ready to do its best to try to help this child or to learn from this child's situation, maybe how to help babies in the future. But Europe says no. Uh, interesting. This is what happens with single payer health care, if we can call it that in Europe. It's even worse, perhaps, in Europe than it is uh, it's going to be here. Uh, the appeals to courts outside of England. So you've got people in Strasbourg. You've got people in Spain deciding that this baby is not allowed to undergo this experimental treatment outside of the confines of the European Union, even if it's all paid for. Even worse, since they signed this death warrant for little Charlie Gard, they won't even let the baby come home. With all this money that's been raised, uh, they want to bring the baby back home, mom and dad, and let it die in the peaceful surroundings of their home, where they've loved that baby, where that baby has slept since it was born 10 months ago. And the European Union doctors, uh, organizations, the, the actually not doctors, the bureaucrats, and this is the key, the bureaucrats that oversee what the doctors can and can't do have said no. It is cruel and inhuman punishment to expect Charlie to be transferred to his home and die alongside his mom and dad. They're going to pull the the cord, the ventilator, the baby will die, and it will die in the hospital. And that's all there is to it. Regardless of all of this other stuff, this is what's at stake. With single-payer health care, this is what's at stake. When we commit the health, the welfare, and the decisions about our own bodies to state entities that really aren't terribly interested in fairness or justice or mercy or leniency or love or kindness, these are well-paid bureaucrats uh, working on their schedules for their purposes. This is rationing. Uh, This is worse than rationing. This is the state being able to determine what will and will not happen to you, regardless of any outside pressures any uh, cost efficiencies, any uh, ability to pay for this beyond uh, what the, the, the government is willing to provide. And let this sink in for a second. If that mother, if, if Charlie's mother had decided to murder that baby in the womb, that baby would have had no rights. And now the baby is born, and now the baby is alive, and now there are all sorts of people that want to try to help the, the, the baby in creative, unique ways. And the doctors and the medical establishment and the governments, the European Union government, all say the same thing. That baby has no rights. Uh, damned if you do and damned if you don't. Thanks, Republicans. Uh, next time, don't even promise us. 
Next time, just tell us that you're on the side of the Democrats, that it's for our own good. Let us know exactly where you stand, because it's obvious now, and no one's buying what you're selling. Thanks for selling us down the road. Uh, little Charlie, uh, God, Godspeed and rest in peace. America, this is what's coming to you. If you enjoyed this video and all of our videos, please consider a tax-deductible donation so we can keep the whole thing free for you. I'm Dr. Duke, thanks for watching.